Attention! Stop your garbage vessel where it is and prepare to be destroyed! Garbage is a bit harsh, isn't it? No! Garbage is accurate! You knew this! You knew what you were making! Tell us about yourselves. No one has ever asked that before. We don't have orders for covering this situation. Rock, this is confusing. Do you have a homeworld? Yes, of course. Drinkapon lies in the Alpha Uxor system. It is the glorious looking planet. You cannot miss it. Is that an order? Tell us some of your history. Rock, okay. Yesterday we were the doom of some aliens. The day before was much the same. Beyond that is lost to the mists of time. For me at least. I only emerged from my cloning pod two days ago. You don't know your own history. Our history is distributed on a need-to-know basis. I know all the parts that are relevant to performing my job. Which is about two days worth. Is every drinking a clone? Rock, yes. Drinking are all clones. It is nice. Conversations are easy. We all have the same interests. Orders. The following of orders. Etc. Fist fights are a little tedious. It is hard for a drinking to take another by surprise. Otherwise, it is a good system. How does your cloning system work? We press the button and a new drinking comes out. That didn't really answer the question. We press the button and a new drinking comes out. Does this have something to do with what happened to your legs? You mean the lesser arms? The scribe told us we are better without them. The tank helps a lot with that though. Rock. Do you go through a lot of drinking? Rock, yes. We do not get many boarding parties returning from naval battles. Because they explode when they hit things. That's a smart and rational system. No, it's horrifying. But their orders. It is our basic military tactic. It is also our only military tactic. During invasions, we shoot a cloning pod at something we don't like. A drinking emerges and gets shot. Then another drinking emerges and is also shot. This continues. But soon, there are so many bodies that it's difficult to shoot the new drinking. Then we win. Many of our sports work the same way. Also dating. And you're comfortable dying like that. No, it is agony. No living being wants to die. We feel every death. We fear every sortie, every assault. But we have to follow orders. That's horrifying. It sure is. <laughs> Gross. It is a bit, yes. We wanted to ask about something else. This has gone on for longer than we expected. We wanted to ask about something else. Rock. What do you guys do? We fight and die as needed by our masters, the scribe. They have told us that the only thing we're good for is dying in battles, and ordered us to do that as much as possible. The scribe told you. Can't you think for yourselves? We think all the time. We are literally doing it right now. Good for you. When you are dying or thinking, what do you do? We do odds and ends for our masters. Lately, We've been working on their glorious project to eliminate all inferior species. Why? Because we were told to. Drinking Command and by extension the Scribe Empire have ordered us to kill all aliens with more or less than three ears. What do the ears have to do with anything? If you want to know more, ask Drinking Command. Which you cannot do because we have orders to kill you before you leave. So if you want to know more, 
deduce it yourselves very fast before dying. When you aren't dying in battle, what do you do? We do odds and ends for our masters. Doesn't sound like so glorious of a project. All inferior species say that. Why are you eliminating all inferior species? Because we were told to. Are you imbeciles? We are not imbeciles. We follow orders. Very, very well. That's enough questions. Ah, oh, thank goodness. That was tiring. Is there anything else before we destroy you, garbage vessel? We'll just be going. No, you won't, two weird scum. We have orders to be the doom of all vessels crewed by aliens with two ears. What do our ears have to do with anything? Who are we to say? We're just following orders. Boarding party and rear missile. Okay. Now, that boarding party does tremendous damage with no hands on you, but it's only cost of one crew to fire. I wonder if I can kill it with a point defense. Nope, not a single sh or n not immediately, no. take aim and blast them. You can also just ignore them while you shoot at the main thumper. But yeah, trying to run this guy out by killing his crew is, uh, not expedient. Part of our objective is to talk to the drinking homeworld. But that will involve going through a lot of drinking. Troops to, to keep flying in this direction, though. Since I did kind of soften myself up on the scribe earlier. Alpha Uxor. They said it's a glorious plan. I don't remember which one it is. I feel like it's an upper right or something. This is what I mean by it's just better to shoot at the main main vessel.
is kindly marked for me. Just gotta fight my way through all of them. Is that a Taiwan right there? Are those are, are there two Taiwan here? Yeah, let's get this over with. Whoops, wrong vessel. Oh well, we'll, we'll be okay. You stupid planet! <laughs> wow! That planet really, really screwed me over. Look at all the deaths I had. I'm not keeping this save. I'm gonna load it. But I'm gonna win this battle anyways. I'm just gonna say this combat area feels so limited with the asteroid ring and the death cloud. It's just, it, I like the old version better. I like the old Star Control. I like the Star Control, me Star Control 2 method of fighting better, where it just wraps around. Jeez. Woo, barely. Rock, a garbage vessel approaches drinking command. Oh. It is the garbage vessel which thwarted our attempt to kill the earless squids. We hate you. <laughs> well, you should have been nicer to those squids. The drinking program for galactic improvement will never be stopped. We're still not 100% sure why you are killing those squids, incidentally. That is simple. The squids do not have three ears. The orders laid out in the Drenkin program for galactic improvement are very clear. Beings with more or less than three ears must be destroyed. Now then, is there anything else you desire before your destruction? We have questions. So many questions. Rock, the two ear one wishes to improve themselves by learning our three eared ways. This is commendable. We will spew our knowledge upon thee. Tell us about your relationship with the scribe. They are our masters and send us to our depths very frequently. Well, they often send the measure to send us to our depths. The scribe themselves are too busy these days to actually talk to us much. Tell us about the Measured. The Measured are also servants of the Scribe. They are an intelligent reef and are our friends and aid us. We return the sentiment. The Measured are irritating. They speak in forms, copies of forms. It is frustrating. Where can we find the Measured? Rock, Delta Domos. Do you know who's fighting the scribe? The scribe have told us many times there is no fighting. They have also told us many times not to call them so much. We bet it was those treacherous famished. We will be their doom. Where can we find these famished? Rock. We don't know. 
The scribe have ordered us not to talk to the other ward species so much. It distresses them. We wanted to ask about something else. Rock! What's all this business about ears again? Describe a very busy removing bad aliens from the galaxy. Often they instruct us to help. The drinking program for galactic improvement is the key directive we have been given for pursuing this. It clearly states that we should filter aliens out of existence based on ear quantity. Anyone with more or less than three ears has to go. Why did the scribe tell you to do that? Questioning orders from the scribe is not allowed. We are to follow their orders and then keep following them until we die. Then repeat. If you want to question orders, which you are not allowed to do, you can ask the scribe yourself. The legate who gave us this order has commandeered a lone Menkmak ship in the Epsilon Fatum system. Which is an unusual place to deliver orders, but questioning that is also not allowed. For us, we will continue eliminating non three eared species until we receive orders to stop. Yeah, I'll work on that. But you only have two ears yourself. That's clearly a fake third ear. The drinking program for galactic improvement clearly states that we should not discuss our own ears, nor the great expense with which we have procured them. Where have you procured the ears from? We cannot talk about it. The ear is real. Go away. Who else are you removing from existence? There's you. You're an abomination. We pity you and are your doom. We attack the Muke. They have no ears. Or they have too many ears. It is hard to tell because they are squids. Whatever the case, we are their doom. And then there are the Trandles. We cannot count their ears, so they are a probable abomination. We were also killing the Menkmak for a time. They had two ears like you. Then they had a third ear, so the killing ended. Convenient. The Menkmak all grew a third ear. How? The drinking program for galactic improvement clearly states that we should not discuss the Menkmak and their ear situation either. Why can't you count the Trandall's ears? They are strange beings with unusual heads. They will not identify their ears, so we destroy them to be safe. They gave us little devices once, but the devices gave us many orders, which is not allowed. You can find them in the direction of the Corpus Cluster. Do the Scribe have three ears? They wear rat clothes, which conceal their ears from us. The drinking program for galactic improvement clearly states that they have three ears, though. What if they didn't? You're suggesting there might be an ethical dilemma under which we might be convinced to kill the scribe. But we are not morons. We follow orders, the most critical of which is don't kill the scribe. I think I kind of broke that order. <laughs> You should probably rest off you to the ground and find out. No! The scribe have many rules about horseplay! Is that a racist comment? Although it brings us no joy, we will continue butchering species as we have been. We wanted to ask about something else. Rock. We wanted to ask about something else. Rock. That's enough questions for now. Is there anything else you desire before your destruction? We'll just be going. You won't be going anywhere alive, two weird scum. <laughs> Bring it on, no neck. Rock, consider it brought, squish bag. I won't have to redo that conversation, so let's just. That's not helpful. Man, I don't like this. It, like, I missed two pickups already because I cannot see anything in the direction away from the other ship. And that's very bad when the terrain is not infinite. And there's power ups.
All right, so I managed to get through this place pretty safely. So he told me a couple places to go, but it is unfortunately time for me to go back to work. Uh, how far is this Epsilon Fatum system, though? Now this is where I ended up going like deep into this is where I ended up going into the scribe territory and having to fight some scribe. I'd like to find a star base and maybe warp home, but we'll see what we can do. As long as that lame, as long as that game mechanic is there, I'm gonna use it. But I don't like the game mechanic. I'd rather have infinite space. I'd rather not be confined. This is space. Why am I confined? Okay, I gotta go soon. But let's try talking to this guy. If his, if his conversation isn't for too long, I might be able to keep. I might be able to get this done. Oh, it's one of those humans! Wow, they weren't kidding about your sheep. <sighs> We've met some drinking. We think there's a scribe on your ship. Oh, the uh, the air thing. Oh, aha, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. So here's the story. Due to circumstances, my people recently came into possession of an enormous supply of fake ears. I know your next question, and I don't want to get into it. It's a weird galaxy. We found an ear cache. It happens. Shut up. My next question was going to be about your people and what their problem is. Oh, 
Is this your first time meeting a Mankmak? Oh man, what a treat for you! I probably shouldn't say much about anything because I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> but if you want to know more, you can talk to the rest of the gang in the Gamma Speaker system. So tell us more about these ears you found. Anyways, we knew that to monetize this uh, earfall, we'd have to find a buyer for those ears. So I got sent out here to convince the Drenken that they needed three ears. I did this by using treachery! How specifically did you use treachery? We discovered a long time ago that the Drenken are genetically conditioned to follow all scribe orders. So, using a different form of treachery, I acquired a scribe military helmet, the kind the naval legates wear. Then, while wearing that, I hailed a passing Drenken task force and told them they had to have three ears from now on. Which this ship, owned by their delightful Minkmak peers, would be willing to sell them at a pretty amazing markup. Because I was being pretty careless with my language, it seems that both the ship and their entire civilization have extrapolated that order into something worse. An order to wipe out all aliens with more or less than three ears. Again, uh, weird galaxy. These things happen. Good thing we didn't find a genital cache. <laughs> Anyways, ear-based genocide. It's bad, but, uh, you know, we're getting paid. They fell for that. They didn't fall for anything. They have to follow orders from the scribe. Deep-rooted conditioning, right down there in their brain stems. Their heads would explode if they didn't. Well, probably not explode. I'm not a doctor. Uh, catch fire? Anyways, they can't not follow a scribe order, is the main thing. If anything, you should pity them. The scribe are terrible at giving orders. I'm sure the Drenkin don't like steering their little fighters into the side of enemy ships. Can you get the Drenkin to stop? Not really, no. One, they go through Drenkin and by extension ears at a hell of a rate. This ear scam is now a pretty big profit center for my entire civilization. Also, uh, we don't have the scribe helmet anymore. A scribe ship passing by detected we had it, and oh boy, was that a pointed discussion. There's a scribe supply depot in the Theta Boclo system, where you might find a nether, if you like antagonizing the scribe. Which I can tell you do. Say, tell you what, I'll come with you! For entirely unselfish reasons. It's weird you'd even question it. Whatever. Besides, you'll need me. These helmets take some practice to work. Practice I have. Then, once we get the helmet, if we head back to the drink in Homeworld, I'll tell them to kill different aliens for you. Or none at all. Whatever. Close communications channel. I already mapped out the solar system just so I could complete it in my spreadsheet. But then I figured I would like to have the drink in in its own episode. So I thought I'd try to record a little more and maybe see what else I can edit out in episode 6. Strange place, Captain. It feels ancient. And yet everything is amazingly intact. It sounds weird, but I wonder if this belonged to the precursors. I think this was a factory once. These look like arms and booms for building ship hulls, along with a lot of other things I don't recognize. It looks like some equipment's been removed. Cutting torch scars in a few places. Someone else has been here. Well, let's see if they missed anything.
Reloss is a pretty cool planet, but it's going to be a little bit too poisonous for me to land on. That's the uh, game's prompt to let you know, maybe you don't mind there. <laughs> Found a wrecked ship, Captain. We'll see if we can get this thing flying again. Ship, Captain. We'll see if we can get this thing flying again. I like that the recent patch, it just adds up the minerals for me now. Alright, I think that's everything in this region. Before we go over to Theta Baklos, I'm gonna set over this other empire so I can take advantage of the star base over there. storytelling functionality may not be as delightful as normal. Tell us about yourself. Check sums indicate the large portions of my internal memory have been corrupted. Consequently, this facility only has limited information on the following topics. Exception, name not found, giraffes, and fun facts. Tell us a fun fact. Your neck has the same number of vertebrae as a giraffe's. For real? Tell us about a giraffe. Giraffes are long-necked ruminants that evolve natively on approximately 45% of all habitable worlds. This is spectacularly unlikely and has been the subject of study by every reasonably advanced civilization since history begins. Also spectacularly unlikely is their habit of instantly disappearing on mass from worlds, apparently as a response to some event in that world's civilizational development. Exception, name not found. Research on derives had apparently reached a critical juncture when an exception, event not found, occurred. Tell us about these name not found folks. Exception, name not found, were biological beings composed of largely conventional organic molecules. The primary exception being exception, exception not found. They were larger than you, but smaller than other beings. They were hairier than you, and hairier than other beings. Much of their advanced technology was created for the purpose of preventing hair getting caught in machinery. That's enough about you. Is there anything else? You said you're a starbase. Let's do some starbase things. Let's see what new things I get. Fleet weapon amplifier, okay. Fleet deflector, alright, cool, cool. Fleet charger, I like it.
Okay, new weapons. Cool. One of the advantages of having the Minkmen engineer my fleet is that I get a discount on equipment upgrades. Uh, so I just saw that I I forgot to edit out the commander uh, commander loading or I forgot to edit out the loading screen for Earth in episode three. Whoops. Welcome back, Captain. So if you take a look at this, you can see that uh, he reduces the RU cost of everything on star bases and other shops by 25%. All right, uh, I spent I spent some I spent about forty thousand RU on multiple fleet de deflectors, a fleet charger, and two fleet weapon amplifiers. I'd probably stock up on more charges if it let me, but one seems to be the max. Anything else, Captain? Good luck, Captain. So hopefully this is a good deal. Let's go ahead and proceed on. Well, this makes exploring the star system pretty easy. We found a scribe supply depot, sir. Row after row of scribe uniforms. More like a closet, I guess. Tactical wardrobe? Is that a cod piece? Wow. We found one of the scribe helmets where the Mekmak said we would. It's all locked up on itself, though. I don't see any way to turn it on or even open it up. We'll take it, but I guess only a Mekmak will be able to use it. If we happen to have one of those sneaking around the fleet, let's take him back to drink upon now. Man, I guess I gotta have to sail all the way back now. Let's hop out of the star system first.
thinking I should have really invested in those extra hyper gate things. Target acquired. Wait, we mean you no harm. We've been hired to destroy you. What you intend doesn't really matter. Yeah, I kind of figured that'd be the case. Okay, that ship moved like it came from Star Control too. All the Star Control Origin ships seem to fly like really, really sluggishly. You combine that with the lack of vision for all the power-ups and obstacles that are flying around you, and it results in what I feel is a poorer experience. I think that's why I don't like the, the combat in this game as much. I'm receiving word from Tyromia that the Scribe have apparently just expanded into the Kappa Trireme system. Are you worried about that? You look worried. I'd be worried. Captain, the Mukei homeworld has called us. They're begging us to help them. Apparently, the Drenkind are still butchering them and shrieking things about ears. Is that? Is that, I, I have no idea who's hailing me. I, I know there's some random shit behind me. I don't know what it is, though. Rock at this! It is the garbage vessel which has proven most troublesome. We'll just be going. No, you won't do it, scum! We have orders to be the doom of all vessels crewed by aliens with two ears. Can we go without fighting? Uninteresting idea. Our orders do not normally permit such a thing. Of course, I could make an exception. Except our orders do not permit exceptions. So, you die now. Let's see what this new ship is like. Manual boat and shields. Oh, that, that, oh wow, that is, that is weak. Weak. <laughs> the shield drains energy way too fast. I mean, obviously it's good. All right, well, I'm not going to keep this safe, but I do want to find out what this other ship looks like, or acts like. Canister mine and reinforcements. Weird. Are they, like, fully... Are they, are they just, like, fully powered ships? Oh, did it use up my crew? I was busy looking at. I was busy looking elsewhere. I didn't really see I was going to run into a boarding party.
Jeez. I just need to get to drink upon without getting myself blown up here. Not sure how viable that is. Almost there. Phew. Raw! The garbage vessel returns! We brought a Micmac here to have a little chat with you. Yes, we will always gladly speak with another of our free eared peers. Be gone from our sight, foolish two eared one! You wait patiently while the Micmac opens a channel with drink and command. Rock! That was surprising! There's also a scribe legged on your vessel! <laughs> he has a fourth ear. I am surprised and astonished. The scribe have instructed us that they require both the drinking and all other aliens to have four ears from now on. Oh, that damned Micmac. This order is stupid, and that is the only time I can recall thinking that. But it is an order, so we will get more ears. The Menkmak fortunately have more they can sell us, but until we furnished ears for all drinking everywhere, which the Menkmak say could take some time, we will stop killing two-eared species, and zero-eared species, and etc, etc. That's some solid warrior thinking, Drinken. There was another order. The Scribe Legate also ordered us to give you a new hyperdrive that you could lash to your impossibly primitive vessel. He has also ordered us to pity you. <laughs> Take it and be less pathetic, two-eared one. Thank you. <laughs> we will take it, but refuse to be less pathetic. Rock. Is there anything else, to it, one? We'll just be going. Good rock to you, to it, one. Close communications channel. All right. Well, let's uh, talk to a drinking carrier. As soon as it lets me heal him. Rock! It is the two weird ones. Drinking command told us not to shoot aliens for ear-based reasons anymore. That's good news. This is not good or bad. It is an order. But I take your meaning. Yes, it will be good to stop killing bewildered aliens quite so much. So long, bewildered alien. Closed communications channel. All right, we are done with the drinking. So that's probably a whole drinking episode right there. Since these guys are now at peace with me, let's go ahead and uh, loot their system. I'm glad I can just look at the number. 142. <laughs> the blue minerals. Rock! Halt your 
garbage vessel now before it approaches this colony any further. What is this place? This is one of the delightful colonies of the Drenkin. Battle fodder for the glorious Scribe Empire. What do you do here? Rock. Make new Drenkin. Put them on ships that go into battle. Repeat. You know, normal colony activities. Well, we'll just be going then. Yes, two is scum. Take your garbage vessel and go. All right, this ship's chasing me, but it's gonna be my ally. I thought I'd find you here. You are the Maiar who assisted the stranded Norax vessel in Proxima Centauri, are you not? Yeah, that was me. Then you have my most profound gratitude. The pilot of that vessel is dear to me, a brother in terms analogous to your biology. He was overdue for the rendezvous, and I didn't think I'd hear from him again. Then he showed up and told me of your deed. You're welcome. He is in good company now and has continued his journey to the Outer Spur. I informed him that I would remain behind and offer my services to the buyer who saved him. Your fleet seems in need of a more capable ship. Will you have me, Bayar? I'd love to, but I don't have any fleet space. Then I shall remain here until you are capable of accepting me into your fleet. Oh, I get it. Really? That means I have to come back here later. <laughs> just to pick him up. I don't know. Could you just follow me to the starbase? Okay, well, hopefully he'll still be here when I get back, but geez, that's lame. Why don't you just go back to my fleet space like everybody else has? What's happened to the... Wow, is that the Muke? Is that... Did they get, like, wiped out by the drink in here? I guess now that I have the Mink Man with the RU bonus, I could still justify buying a bunch of hyperspace drives. Apparently I've got all the possible hyperdrive accelerators. So we'll go ahead and pop that on and... There we go. Maybe one of these? Yeah, I'll go and get a docking bay. Great. Spent quite a bit of my RUs, but now my ship is fully modulated. <laughs> Many playful splashes, Federation members. We have good news. The Drenkant have finally stopped attacking our ships. And colonies. And also other people. Whatever you did, well done. <laughs> Happy to have helped. Thank you again. Take care, Federation member. Oh, I have to admit, I was hoping for a little more than just thanks. Remember, I am fighting a war here. In fact, if I had more supplies, I probably could have bought those hyperspace accelerators and made it a little faster. Then you wouldn't have lost so many planets. Welcome back, Captain. We've got a hyperdrive for you. Great. Do you also have 100 units of Francium? Because we're not going to get far without that. Maybe we'll have to get back to you on that. Maybe you will, yeah. Anything else, Captain? So let me get this straight. I wasted all that time coming back to talk to the squids and the humans. I knew that they needed Francium, but I thought they could do something else with the dry too. All right, well, how about answering a couple questions while I'm here? About what? 
Can you tell me about some aliens? Is there any alien in particular you're concerned about? Not those. Which ones? You can't tell me about the drinking? Which ones? What do you think about the drinking? They sound like heartless automatons, Captain. Willing to follow any order, no matter how mindlessly cruel it is. I wouldn't feel too guilty when you blow them up. Didn't know you were that bloodthirsty, Commander. I don't like bullies, Captain. I'll get going then. Good luck, Captain. All right, well, at least I got some crew for my ships again, but that wasn't a good use of my in-game days. Instead of a lander module, how about a module that does the mining for me? Also, I think the interface with modulating your ship I don't know if they'll ever change it significantly enough to make it better, though. It needs a needs a, it really needs an overhaul, however. Alright, looks like the ship's headed my way. If they have anything to say for themselves now. All keepers, I have words that did you think we would not notice? That we would be blind to your activities? We have spoken to the drinking. You have tricked them. You have given them extra years. Do you think this is a joke? Temporary with our property? The drinking are ours! <laughs> Your permission to exist is even more denied. Thank you, Kiba. <laughs> no wonder no one in your empire likes you. Lies! The Scribe Empire is as strong as it ever was. Every world species scrapes the ground at our feet. Enough! I do not have the patience for cleansing your mind of these untruths. So long, savage.
It is the humans who have been rampaging through my kin. What is left to say, humans? We never wanted to fight you. Oh, so it's us, the people who keep attacking and killing civilian vessels. We're the bad guys. Morality is a construct, friend -o. Let's see, these guys drop mines, so something with point defense. Stupid asteroid. Jeez. I know the blue see I missed it because I can't see where those blue things are. I missed it again. So you're either charging right at the enemy to get shot or you're looking for power-ups by flying away.
Oh, come on, all my drones blow up? I guess it was the only enemy in that fleet, anyways. Set the stun. Found a wrecked ship, Captain. We'll see if we can get this thing flying again. Everything here is explored, and yep, I've disconnected the enemy star systems from this area. I don't think it really does me much good, but I feel better. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop for now because I have work in seven hours. So thank you very much for watching Trend Wins, our control origins. I'll see you next time.